our main mandate and duties as Rangers of Opportunity Conservancy is to protect these rhinos. We have to make sure that we see every rhino after every four days, at least at the most. Control, Oscar Wandri. Rangers have to wake up very early in the morning at 6 a.m. They have to go to the field with their binoculars, with their radios. They have to see the ears. Number two is the body size. Number three is the horn shape. For us here in Opejeta Conservancy, for the last three years, we have not lost a single rhino to poaching. Thanks to our anti-poaching unit, the canine unit, and all the team at Opejeta Conservancy that ensures that our rhinos are safe. Over the last 30 years, our rhino population here in Opejeta has risen from four rhinos to 138 rhinos. This phenomenal achievement and the success of our breeding program means Opejeta is now nearing its carrying capacity. Any population that is, uh, is breeding, and particularly those populations that are beyond 100 individuals, means that they are the hope for the future uh, of the species. They serve as an umbrella species, so their protection really results in protection of other species. Long-term concerns is that, one, we need to ensure that these animals are safe and secured from any danger, including poaching. We also need to ensure that now that we're getting into our carrying capacity, that there is space available for the excess or surplus rhinos. We need to have land that these animals can disperse into. Standing here, I'm actually looking at uh, some of the interesting plants around here, common grasses. Uh, but what is standing out here is the there is sprouting acacia drepanolobium, which is a whistling thorn, and it's, it's actually a plant that is very likable to the rhinos. Um, in fact, they say 95% of the rhino diet on Opejeta uh, mainly comes from this plant. Um, there's so much of this. If you look around, you'll see another one, another one, another one. Uh, and it makes rhinos appear as though they are grazing, the black rhinos. And we know they are browsers, but they are not. They are really utilizing this uh, seedling level kind of acacia and the hub layer which is usually in the grass and, and so from a biology, biological survey of suitability of an area if you miss out this uh, you might actually assume a place is not suitable for, for rhinos because visually you don't see the kind of plants that they like but underneath the grass within the hub layer it's quite a bit. So my concerns has always been are we going to have land sufficiently available to have populations that are not managed by man, but self-sustaining. Well, we love these animals, we will do anything for them. We monitor and patrol them day and night. And so our commitment is, is beyond words can describe. Kenya's black rhino strategy is to achieve 2,000 rhinos by 2030. And Olpegeta's black rhino breeding program is critical to this success. COVID-19 has made it difficult for us to raise funds needed for this conservation work. Thank you to each and every one of you for helping us continue protecting our rhinos here in Olpegeta Conservancy.